So, welcome to the video. I'm trying to get back into the swing of things here. I know I haven't uploaded in a really, really long time, but uh, today I'm doing a workstation build. I, I actually had it built now for about a week-ish. I bought all the parts at Micro Center, and I'm going to go over the whole build and all the specs right now. So, it is a workstation, so nothing super impressive on the graphics end of things. It is just a GTX 750 Ti, 1050 Ti, not a 750, those are very old. Um, 1050 Ti, which also is rarely old. It, honestly, I think it's now five years old, and for some reason it's still being sold new, mostly just because it's really hard to acquire a lot of new RTX 3000 cards, and I guess people are just sort of getting whatever they can, and the 1050 Ti isn't horrible. I just wouldn't really recommend it for gaming in 2021. Again, this is a workstation, so the graphics end of things aren't super, like, impressive or really need to be because the only thing that's really being done on this computer is Autodesk work, like light Autodesk work and AutoCAD, and that light 3D rendering it has to do is fine for a 1050 Ti. So CPU end, we have a Ryzen 7 3700X, also all the specs are going to be right over here somewhere in a list. 16 gigs of DDR4, Crucial, Ballistics, 3200 MHz RAM, an Asus Prime B550 Plus motherboard. It's an ATX size, it's fairly simple, there's nothing really special about it. Um, standard stuff, two M.2 slots, um, nothing really great about it, it's just a simple motherboard. Didn't cost too much. Then for the case, it was a Lian Li. Lee 215 case. It's amazing. It's fantastic to build in. A lot of the only cases are, some of them aren't, but this one, honestly, I have no complaints. It was, it comes with uh, two fans in the front. They're both RGB. They're 180 millimeters. It has an RGB controller built in. There is an RGB button at the top that you can use to control the LEDs on the fans, which is fantastic. And there's also one fan at the back, a 120 millimeter fan. Works pretty good. There's a lot of airflow in the case. It's pretty much all mesh. Uh, power supply is an EVGA 750 watt gold rated fully modular unit. It's really good. I've used them in a few builds now. I haven't had any issues as of yet. Um, granted, I've only really been using them now for about a year, but in the builds that I have done in that year, I haven't really had an issue. Um, it is a little overkill, actually extremely overkill for this build as it is only just the Ryzen 7 3700X and the motherboard that's getting power directly from the power supply, like in terms of cables getting run. The RGB controller is using SATA power to actually power the LEDs on the fans, but again, that's not really a lot of power, so I'm not really considering that to be a big power draw on the power supply or from your wall at all, because it's just LEDs. But again, just want to make sure everything's reliable. It is a workstation. I want to make sure it could last as long as possible. And then for the boot drive and the storage, there is a 512 gig and a one terabyte inland SSD. One is being used for Windows and the other is being used for mass storage. So without further ado, I'm just going to go through the time lapse over here. You can also skip ahead. I'm going to chapter out the whole video. So if you're scrubbing through, you can see where it ends and you can go right to the B-roll of the finished build. But from there, I'm going to go through a few benchmarks and yeah, enjoy the time lapse. Thought I was searching for something Don't 
intertwined And you're not listening It is your choice to make a little mockery It won't do Tell me. 
took a swing at a wrecking ball and I prayed for my downfall and I found a way to reconcile cause in my heart it's not worthwhile it's a bloody battlefield where some go down on the seal in the end it's all the same all you can do is play the game So overall, the build turned out pretty good. Uh, like I said in the intro, it is a Ryzen 7 3700X, a GTX 1050 Ti 4 gig, and 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM at 3200 megahertz. It's a pretty balanced build for doing basic work like Autodesk. Not really so much for gaming. It is a little bit difficult because again, it's a five-year-old GPU, maybe six, I think. I'm gonna try and figure out, maybe I'll put it in the description or somewhere over here, um, as well as a Cinebench score that's gonna be here. Um, but it's pretty decent build. Uh, if you do plan on gaming with this system, you could probably do it at maybe medium to low settings in AP. On some new games, it's older ones, you could maybe max them out. But I just recommend maybe getting a good used GPU, something a little bit better than a 1050 Ti, um, or just waiting to pick up a better one and maybe you just acquire these parts as you go, deal hunt, see what you can get. But overall, it's a pretty decent build. It's a great case to build in the Lian Li 215. Has a built-in RGB controller, two 180 millimeter RGB fans in the front, one 120 in the back that's just plain black. I'm actually gonna kind of pan around the case for a little bit as I'm talking and you'll be able to see that but honestly as a first PC it's not really bad the whole total was around nine hundred and fifty dollars and then with tax it was a little over a thousand and these are New York State taxes so your state may vary but it was really easy and I, honestly I think this is one of the easiest builds I've ever done um, it's a really really great case to build in there's a ton of cable management room very important because if you don't have that it honestly just becomes a nightmare but yeah that's gonna be it for today uh, i hope you guys enjoyed the video and until next time i'll see you